Today marks a milestone anniversary for New York's Archbishop Timothy Dolan, exactly 10 years since he became a Cardinal of the Catholic Church during a magnificent ceremony at St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. The Cardinal sat down with CBS 2's Tony Aiello to reflect back and look ahead as retirement approaches. Just inside the front door of the residence behind St. Patrick's Cathedral, Cardinal Dolan keeps a colorful collection of headwear. People begin to give you red hats because they're cardinal. The red beretta is a traditional symbol of the cardinal's office. Dolan received his from Pope Benedict XVI 10 years ago, February 18th, 2012. Well, this is the actual one that the pope put on my head. Did I ever think I'd be a cardinal? No, no. No, I Honestly, when I got a, became Archbishop of New York, I figured, well, I guess I'm going to be a cardinal, not because of me, but because of the, of the importance of this great archdiocese, its priests and people. Cardinals are sometimes referred to as princes of uh -huh. the church. Are you comfortable with that? No, uh, I don't like that term. We don't need that. We're supposed to be like Jesus, and Lord knows he wasn't much into nobility. There's no denying there was a regal magnificence to the ceremony, called a consistory, held at the Vatican a decade ago. We saw a moment there where, where the Pope was smiling. I joined Maurice Dubois in Rome to cover the events that whirlwind week. I see people whose friendship I cherish. Our affable Archbishop enjoyed the company of hundreds of friends and family who traveled to Rome, pilgrims who joined him for mass and a meal every day. I remember how much fun you were having. <laughs> so I figured, hey, I'm going to enjoy this. And did I ever. The Cardinal keeps a picture of his mother, then in her 80s, meeting Pope Benedict after he received his red hat. Shirley Dolan told me back in 2012, the Pope said to her son, She is too young to be your mother. And she said to him, Why, Holy Father, as a Catholic, I've always believed you to be infallible, but now I know it. <laughs> A year later, Benedict shocked the world by resigning. Dolan was called to perform a cardinal's most solemn duty, electing a new pope during a so-called conclave. In 2013, speculation about a possible American pope centered on Dolan. Cardinals take a vow of secrecy. Dolan uses humor to deflect questions about the voting that eventually elected Pope Francis. According to America Magazine, you heard your name twice when they announced... <laughs> the votes from the first round. I was sleeping then, but... <laughs> Cardinal Dolan must submit his resignation as Archbishop when he turns 75. The Vatican could wait months or even years before accepting it. You just turned 72. Yeah. Do you feel like you're in the home stretch of your I service? Feel, somebody said, are you in the bottom of the ninth? They said, no, I'm at the seventh inning stretch. In the time he has left, the Cardinal told me a focus will be moving past the pandemic. What have we learned through this? Let's do a little examination of conscience. Thank God our Catholic Charities came through over 10 million meals. Can you believe it? What was the church good at in these two dark years? What could we have done better? Leading the way will be the man in the red hat. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Always the baseball reference, huh? <laughs> the Cardinal is marking the anniversary with his family in the Midwest, seeing his 93-year-old mother, Shirley, for the first time since November. And coming up on the News at 11, the conversation continues with the Cardinal with his thoughts on how Pope Francis is changing the College of Cardinals. And we do have much more on the interview with Timothy Cardinal Dolan on our website. Find it at cbsnewyork.com. Through the highs and the lows, the joy and the pain of the job, you just get the impression he loves it. He loves every aspect of it, right? It's where he belongs. It's, it certainly seems that way.